Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome to the Cusp of Interest. So today I'll be reviewing the i30 TWS. If any time you'd like to pick up a pair of these, the links will be in the description. Also, be sure to get subscribed because I'll be doing a large giveaway very soon. All right, so I'll be using the CA scoring method in this video. The max score that these headphones can achieve is 160 points. So keep that in mind. All right, getting right into the packaging. It comes in a box that looks very similar to the box of the AirPods. There's nothing on the sides of the box. To the back, there's an image of the case with the headphones in them. Looking at the bottom left, it says TWS where it would usually say AirPods. Opening the box up, you are greeted with the headphones in a little translucent bag. Pulling that out, you get a USB 2 lightning charger and a manual. For packaging, I give it a score of 12. Up next is the design of the case. If you'd like me to compare these to the Apple AirPods, be sure to comment compare them to the AirPods. They come in a small white case that fits perfectly in your hand. There's a lightning port on the bottom that is used to charge the device. On the back, there's a little button that is flush to the surface. Continuing onto the back, there's a chrome hinge. On the lid of the case, it does stay down with magnets. When you open the case, there's a little LED between the two headphones in the middle of the case. The overall case score is a 14. Onto the headphones. They come in a shape very similar to the Apple AirPods with that infamous stem. The earbuds themselves have four mesh areas on the headphones three on the top portion of the headphone and one at the bottom. There's a main speaker grill and then a backup speaker grill and then an additional one in the back. And then at the bottom is the microphone grill. There are two dots on the inside and the outside of the headphones that resemble the Apple AirPods sensors. And there's also a little hole on the side of the stem that is used for the touch functions. Now onto the connectivity. These i30 TWSs have the W1 chip in them, and in my opinion, it is one of the best versions using the W1 chip. Right as you open the case, the AirPods pop-up will appear on your iPhone. It is very responsive, it's almost unmatched to a degree. It is very easy to pair this way. There's no Bluetooth lag when you're watching videos or in movies or anything like that. The words match up perfectly with the audio. One problem I've seen in colognes is they have trouble pairing with each other. These have a clever solution to that problem. When you pull the left side out first, then the right side, they'll pair together just fine. But if you pull them the other way around, they won't pair. So the right side first, then the left side. They won't pair and enable you to use the headphones separate from each other. Overall, their connectivity specs are pretty good. All right, so now I'm testing how far the, the headphones can get from the phone. And uh, yeah, so I got a new setup going. So here's the phone right here that I record from. And then out here, I got all of these shoes. They're 10 feet from each other, so. So every 10, that's just to give you a measurement of how far it can go. All right, so now I'm on the ground level and um, this is what it looks like from down here. And I'll just be testing the i30 TWS's to see exactly how far they can get from the phone. And yeah, let's begin the testing. Now for the battery life of the i30 TWS. You can get around two to three hours of listening time on one charge, with an additional 20 hours with the case. On to the features and cool things about it. There's a little LED in the front of, between the two places the AirPods go in the case, and it uses the LED to show the battery life of the case. If it is green, then the battery is above 75%. If it is yellow, then it is between 25 and 75% battery. And then if it's red, it's below 25%. There are no LEDs beneath the plastic on the headphones, so I really like that. They do have touch functions, and they are double tap the right side to pause the music, triple tap the right side to go to the next song, double tap or triple tap the left side to call Siri. Now for the features, I give them a 10. Now for the audio quality of the headphones. After listening to them for like three hours, they really did sound really good. The audio quality was very balanced, good lows, good highs, very good bass. They can go very loud and just sounded really good overall. I definitely could rock these with no problems. I legitimately have been using these intermittently with my AirPods. That's how good they sound. The audio quality score is a 14. Now for the mic quality of the headphones. Alright, so I am talking through the i30 TWS's and this is the mic quality you can expect when you're on like a phone call or a voice chat or whatever, whatever you're using it for. This is the kind of mic quality you can expect, so testing, one, two, three, loud, ah, quiet, quiet, yeah. If you'd like to pick up your own pair of these, the links will be in the description. The overall total score was, make sure to like, subscribe, 
and peace.